how do you also manage let's say the emotional side of things or uh, 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 let's say physical is covered emotional and mental space right uh, what are some practical tips that my listeners can implement so that this mind and the body as well as the emotional come in line any any ideas you have any rituals you follow i came across a saying the other day silawash that uh, said uh, the lesson is simple the student is complicated <laughs> <laughs> and we have so many complexities in that question of how can we handle our emotions what can we do with our mind to so we can live well um and again i will remind your viewers of this possibility this approach to living in which we accept our emotions they're changing all the time they're like the weather passing through us emotions are the weather patterns in the body they come and go um i was speaking in a, a federal prison once uh, to the inmates they were in a called the insight prison project at san quentin prison in california and um they were doing yoga and meditation and one of the inmates said i have a problem with rage and mm. i said no you don't and he said how do you know what would you know about this he said yes i do i said no you don't I said rage is not a problem it's an emotional storm that goes through you i understand what it feels like i've been enraged at times in my life the problem you have is not the feeling it's what you do when you're feeling enraged mm. anger management courses don't manage anger they manage behavior because that again is all we can really control so by focusing this is a whole new way of thinking a whole new way of approaching our lives to what needs doing now what constructive thing can i do what is my purpose what is my aim and goal right now and doing that despite what we're feeling or not feeling whether or not we're motivated or feeling happy now it's not easy i'm not saying it's an easy practice yeah. but like any practice it gets better over time which is why the most controversial thing i can say is i am not encouraging your listeners or you or me to feel peaceful or happy or kind or loving or confident or courageous i'm encouraging us to behave that way no matter what we're feeling and many people go well, wait a minute isn't that like pretense that's not authentic if you're feeling one way and behave the other but what if you're feeling afraid and behave with courage hmm. we've all done that at times yeah and we can do the same thing we can behave we can feel angry and behave with kindness not easy but yep. the practice gets better over time and that see our lives are shaped more than anything by what we do moment to moment yeah. and so this focus on how we behave and not worried as much about fixing the mind and the emotions what strategies can we achieve to try to influence our mind and emotions it it simplifies life and we get more realistic and actually more effective makes sense so basically uh, what what your uh, theory is and what you're normally encouraging people is to manage their response and not just give in to those emotions to make sure that you acknowledge what you're currently feeling and then choose to do choose choose to be kind choose to be somebody that not letting those emotion let's say if you're feeling anger instead of being angry you're saying no i'm going to be kind so i'm going to well no you can be angry absolutely while you're angry say a nice word to hmm. somebody sure it's not about fixing the emotions or changing them so it's accepting the emotions as our reality in the moment they will pass all emotions fade over time unless we keep re-stimulating them we yeah. feel this then we feel that then we feel this Makes it sense. changes all the time okay. and a way to have a stable functional life and look that's what athletes do they don't not go to workout or training because they're feeling a little blue that day they need to train and they do so so just as we can do something when we're tired we've all done things taken out the trash done our work our homework whatever our studies even if we're tired in the same way we can do things we need to whether we're afraid or upset we can still do it it's not as easy yeah but most of us will continue to wait for the right thoughts and feelings and try to work with them influence them and there are innumerable con you know con um contradictory and complicated ways to do that if somebody wants to pursue that they can you know if it works for you keep doing it correct but rather than magical thinking or all the complications it really look if you look at your life in my life 
anyone looks at their life, their life has been shaped more than anything else by what they have done moment to moment. Yes. What they've actually done. And the quality of our moments become the quality of our life. Now, some people will go, yes, but isn't what I did, wasn't it generated by my emotions and my thoughts and an idea? Well, yeah, it starts with an intention. We want to do something, Connect. but nothing happens until we do it. Yeah. We don't even make decisions until we do something. Uh, one famous person said, uh, how do I know what I think until I see what I do? That's what counts. And that's the major emphasis I have in, in our conversation right now. Makes sense. Makes sense. 